So a lot of people ask, um, what are the different terms here when it comes to sensors, ABI, DPI, or SPI, and um, DPO. So we're gonna kind of run through that quick. The first one um, is the ABIs. So you're, an ABI is an analog voltage input. Uh, you're gonna use this for your sensors, your zero to five volt sensors, because that's what they're gonna provide. Um, you're also gonna use this for temperature sensors. And then you can also use this for a switched input, just an on off switch. Um, that's pretty simple. So you can see here, these are a couple ABIs. This one specifically is a pressure sensor. This one is a temperature sensor, which is gonna be a two wire. Um, and then we'll roll into the other, other side of inputs, which is going to be a DPI or an SPI, which is a synchronized pulsed input or a digital pulsed input. This is going to accept a square wave Hall effect signal, um, much like in this case, a drive shaft sensor. You can also use this because a, a regular switch generates a square wave. Uh, you can use these for switched inputs also, but you cannot use these, uh, you cannot use DPIs for uh, zero to five volt sensors. However, you can use SPIs for zero to five volt, but SPIs are kind of uh, specific to some of the 2500 um, REM stuff. Uh, if you get back into the, the VMS stuff, those are going to have DPIs, not SPIs. So, uh, regarding outputs, all of the outputs are going to be called a DPO, a digital pulsed output, um, or in this case, a step, which would be could be used for a step or motor. That's still going to be a DPO. Um, the DPOs they don't have to pulse. You know, you can use it. You're generally going to use it to turn a relay on. Um, it's generally we're going to trigger the ground side of a relay to turn it on, or we're going to send that to a solid state relay and we're going to pulse it much like a boost controller, or we're going to do it with a nitrous controller. We need a solid state relay to pulse that. Um, so that kind of covers the, the DPO side of things. Um, if there's any questions on those, feel free, post up, let me know, message me. Um, and I can kind of guide you through some of that stuff and what you're going to use certain things for certain systems. Um, have certain requirements for some of the ABI wires and some of the DPI wires, um, pull-ups and, and pull-down resistors, things like that. But we can get into that if you guys got questions on it. So just let me know.